For today's video guys, we are going to build a snow mower with leftover parts that I have right here. I need to hook up the trailer and get a lawnmower frame that is in my backyard. This is probably going to be a challenge to do because we have a, quite a lot of snow and also the tires on the Can-Am are pretty freaking clapped. Fuck, I locked myself outside. This freaking door handle is fucked up. Nothing works with it. No, fuck that. Are we gonna let this thing warm up a little bit? This cool ass lawnmower is outside right now because I had a lot of fun drifting this thing off camera. <laughs> this has gotta be the most frustrating thing ever. <laughs> oh my god, my patience! <laughs> Come here! Oh! This can either be easy or difficult to do. We are about to know. Oh shit, that's a lot of flex! Come here, you have no choice but to come here. Now I want this super heavy duty transaxle. This thing is probably heavier than the whole mower frame. Holy sh Sometimes you should work smarter, not harder. Oh my god, this thing is heavy, holy sh What I absolutely love about this, we have a hub, so we can put whatever type of wheel we want on this. The little 570 did it, dude. Now we need to bring that shit inside. Oh my. <laughs> we are back in the garage. We have the lawnmower here and the transaxle. We need to wait until all that snow melts. Same for the transaxle. This is going to be super, super simple, guys. We need belts. We need some pulleys, and honestly, I have more than enough pulleys. The most important thing is to have an engine. We have a 12 HP Tecumseh overhead valve engine, or we can go with the 15 HP overhead valve Briggs & Stratton engine. Bigger is always better. Okay. We are going to use that 15 HP Briggs & Stratton engine. We need a foot throttle. There's already a foot throttle on that frame. We need a throttle cable. I think I have five throttle cable right here. We also need an exhaust. Here it is, guys. There's also an exhaust tip on that thing. We have everything! <laughs> we will have a nice snow mower in the end of this video, and we'll have fun with it. I have temporarily installed the transaxle on the mower just to see how it looks. It looks freaking insane. This thing looks like a freaking monster. Now what we need to do is weld some transaxle mounts on the mower frame. I just finished welding those transaxle mounts. These are not the prettiest welds, but it's gonna hold for sure. Now what we need to do is to weld the diff in that transaxle. I've never had such a complicated transaxle to work with. We have the forks right here. Pretty freaking weird forks. I'm gonna remove all the gears from this transaxle. I'm going to try to find a way to weld that axle.
Turns out it will be super easy to weld that axle. The only thing I need to do is to weld these little gears on this little shaft. Let me clean these parts. I cleaned up the parts. They are now ready to get welded. I'm gonna slide these parts right here and then I'm gonna weld the crap out of it. Not gonna lie guys it took me three hours to reassemble this transaxle it was a pain in the ass everything works perfectly on this one eternity later guys we have been working on this piece of shit for more than three days before i explain all the shit that happened i'm gonna calm down and explain everything i did i fixed the flat tire as you can see right here i reinforced the transaxle mount i also extended the transaxle shifter and i welded a piston on this shit I had to modify the exhaust and then I installed it on the mower and it looks pretty freaking clean, not gonna lie. I hook up a throttle cable the OG way with zip ties. Looks goofy, but it works like a charm. I installed the 15 HP Briggs & Stratton engine in the mower as well. It says 14.5 HP right here. Since I welded this piston right here, we have 15 maybe more. I also hook up this temporary fuel tank on this mower. So this is where it got FRUSTRATING! This Gilson Mongum Reward transaxle is horizontally driven. The engine is vertically driven. At first, I thought the belt would always fall off of the pulley. It doesn't want to fall off of the pulley. It stays on the pulley. I don't know how, but it stays there. When I start up the engine, this pulley should not spin this belt. In order to shift gears on that transaxle, it needs to be completely disengaged, otherwise I'm just gonna grind gears. The problem right here is, look how much freaking loose we have right here, and it's still engaged. I'm rocking an 81 inch belt. If I put an 80 inch belt, too tight. If I put an 82 inch belt, too loose. So I'm stuck with this crap. In neutral, it spins the pulley. So it's really hard to put this thing in first. Once I'm in first, second and third it slips i had to make myself a clutch that will tight that belt pretty simple this rod is hooked up right there to this transmatic variable speed shifter <laughs> since the local pulley shop doesn't have the size i want i had to use a stock mower pulley and flip it around we probably have like five inch right here four inch in the back the gear ratio is pretty freaking slow that's pretty much shit Guys, enough talking guys, it's time to know if this thing is good in snow. This thing is so much fun. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting this thing to drive that well. Okay, first gear. Second. <laughs> oh shit. Go, 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 go. Maybe low gear will be the key. Wait a minute. Yeah. Low gear. Bitch. Ah, Jimmy! What the fuck? <laughs> oh, in low gear, this thing putting some work. Holy shit! <laughs> Maybe if I remove some air pressure in those tires, maybe it would help. I removed a lot of air pressure in the tires, so it should help. Now me and Jimmy are going to test what is better, crawling or full scent. <laughs> but once we hit the spot, I'm gonna put this thing in low gear and Jimmy's just gonna send it. 
and we are going to see which one goes further. We are in low gear right now. Oh yeah, crawling that little bitch. <laughs> Holy shit! I mean, he's faster than me, that's for sure. <laughs> but I'm crawling. <laughs> Keep on going. Keep on going. Wait, wait to the end of the boat. Listen, bitch. What the fuck you doing? Go! <laughs> what the fuck? Well, you're not going there. But surely, Jimmy. Let's go, Jimmy. You're gonna make it. Oh my god! He's freaking redlining that shit! Holy shit, he's gonna blow that shit out, bro! Let off! Let off the freaking throttle, bro! A few moments later. Yep, forgot to plug the external mic, bruh. I'm so mad. Oh shit, it's digging right here. Oh, let's go. We're making it easy, slowly but easily. Just crawling, baby. <laughs> I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. <laughs> Jimmy went for another round. Let's go for another round then. But this time we're not putting it in low. We are going in first gear. I don't know if you guys are full senders or if you like to crawl things. Imagine this thing with a frame extension, front suspension, bigger wheels, Polaris rack and pinion, some pretty freaking insane snow tires or mud tires. This thing would be a freaking beast. If there's too much wheel spin on these tires, it'll just slip. So this is why I need to put this thing in low gear. Different story for Jimmy though, with his first nose, it's a game changer. It grips too much now, he can't drift his mower though. Oh, so there's not even a single wheel spin, it just goes. <laughs> bitch! <laughs> the fuck you want, bitch? We are back in the garage, guys. The GoPro died and also my phone died. Turns out, off camera, Jimmy broke a gear in his transaxle. Jimmy's lawnmower is kaput right now. This snowmower is so freaking fun to drive, guys. At first, I thought this thing wouldn't do great in snow. Removing a lot of air pressure in those tires was game changer. I didn't build that thing to go super fast, but it's a little bit too slow right now. We need to at least go 50 kilometers an hour. Feel free to give me some upgrade ideas, guys, on the comments. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.